How was your little walk along our shore? Oh, it was wonderful. Uh, you're not turned to ice. I am, <laughs> but it was worth it. Ah, uh, good for you. Some tea to thaw you out? Oh, oh, tea would be perfect. A uh, treasure, I see. Oh, just a little shell. Oh, don't be too sure of that. Won't you change your mind and stay with us a day or two? I've got some gorgeous rooms upstairs. Oh, thank you. No, I'm just meeting someone here, and they'd better be on the next ferry. A and then I have to get back to the United States. Well, now, that's a rare find. Usually when they wash up on Inish Crag, they're ground to sand. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, it's lucky. See, the pattern is in the shape of a shamrock. See? Yeah. It means you are lucky. Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Well, perhaps your luck is about to change. You've got some nerve, young lady, leaving me a message to meet you here on this godforsaken little island. That fairly right just about turned my stomach inside out. Well, I'm sure you've got a drug that'll take care of that, Aunt Kiki. I was perfectly comfortable across the bay at Lord Chillingsworth. I don't see why you couldn't. I wanted there. us to meet on neutral ground. There is nothing neutral about this land that time forgot, which might just be blown away with the next good gust of wind. Barkey? Yes, ma'am. Vodka martini, please. Lemon twist. I don't know what this is about, but it better be good. Do you know in all the time you've been my so-called guardian, you've never once kissed me or given me a hello hug? <laughs> oh, is that what you came all the way to Ireland for? A hello hug? Did you miss your Auntie Kiki, you poor baby? What is it you want, Marty? I don't want a blessed thing from you, except what's mine. And what is that supposed to mean? You've been draining the accounts. My accounts, on Kiki. In fact, you've really screwed up my trust funds. Some of them are about gone. Marty. Uh, that will be all, please. Uh, Marty, you have to realize that the stock market has its ups and downs. Oh, bull! You've drained the accounts. And it's going to stop. Right now. Uh, Marty. <laughs> Why don't you just get rid of this ridiculous act? <laughs> I mean, it just makes you look even more pathetic than you already are. Really, Marty? <laughs> you dragged me out to this rock in the middle of nowhere to condemn my investment choices. Well, excuse me for trying to do right by your inheritance. But I'm far too busy to fall down on my knees and beg your forgiveness. Lord Chillingsworth and I are getting married. Did you know that? And this time it will work. No, I'm sure. We're going to have a fabulous wedding. But it won't be complete unless you're there. Oh, as usual. <laughs> then you will come. No. And I really hope you found yourself another gold mine because my free ride is shut down, effective immediately. Excuse me? You may or may not recognize these papers depending on how high you were the last time you saw them. They are your power of attorney over some of my accounts. Now, because I was young and wild and perhaps high at the time, they've been your one long free lunch. Well, I, I really hope you've enjoyed the meal. Because your power of attorney is, um, revoked. As of new local time, in fact. No. No, Marty. Please. I was only trying Skip to... Skip the eye only, all right? I just hope you've saved some money because you're cut off. Margaret, I'm your only family. <laughs> is that any way to treat me? <laughs> you were supposed to take care of me. And look out for my best interests. It was a very difficult responsibility. I had to make decisions about what you needed. What I needed... What I needed was the love and affection that I lost when my parents drowned. All I got from you was a cold shoulder and another new boarding school. Not to mention the verbal abuse. Oh. You were a millstone from the moment the lawyers tied you around my neck. Well, by all means, declare your independence. 
Go on making your life a shambles that you always have. I'm confident you can screw things up without me, just as well as you did with me. You know something, Aunt Kiki? I have been afraid for so long that if I did something like this, you'd leave me. Now I'm leaving you. I was always so afraid that I'd never see you again. It's looking like a pretty good thing right now. Are you saying... Ciao! Which is what you used to say to me when you'd leave me. I never want to see you or hear from you again. Now, Marty, no, I you think you better get going because the weather's kicking up and you really wouldn't want to miss that last ferry. My God. My God. You're impossible! <laughs> Your auntie seemed a bit unhappy when she left. Yes, she did. Mr. Keneally. I need to send a telegram to Landview, Pennsylvania, in the United States, to a Mr. Todd Manning. 